Minku, Minku, Minku. Hey, folks. This is gonna be a little video of me rambling about Minx Root. It's a long time ago that I wasn't gonna do an actual playthrough of it. Because, well, I didn't really want to voice act all the abuse and rape scenes, and there were plenty of people who told me they didn't really want to watch that either. So, seemed like a lose-lose. But I played through it the other day because, well, you gotta. You know, to finish the game. And shortly I'll be doing uh, the true route. But first, a couple people requested that I do a video just sort of sharing my thoughts and reactions to Minx Root. And I guess my biggest reaction is that it's the silliest of all the routes, honestly, in my opinion, that I've played so far. And what I mean by that is that it just kind of comes off as like, um, like almost fetish porn, to be honest. Like, there's very, um, there's very little character development until the end. Whereas with the other routes, there was kind of that, you learned a lot about the characters throughout the actual route itself. I feel like they started from the point of, we want to do a route that's like, really kind of abuse-centered and fetishy and focused on like, you know, Alba wanting to be controlled and destroyed. Which is an interesting reversal, because usually he's got Destroy Boy or Sly Blue, as it were, coming out and trying to destroy other people. Although he does make a couple appearances in this route, and I have to say he was my favorite part of it. Having him threaten to turn Mink's little brain asunder, or something like that, was pretty great. And also getting the backstory, or at least some of the backstory about Sly Blue was good too. Also on the silliness, there's a... Uh, that motorcycle with the jet engines, that was pretty great. I really liked the uh, the bad end, where he uh, just, you know, pops off uh, Alba's head. That was pretty gruesome. And the ending uh, CG was pretty well done as well. As far as, like, the actual rape and abuse itself, obviously, I mean, Meek's an asshole for doing all that shit. And his little, um, hey, I'm a good guy at the end thing doesn't really undo any of that. I get that Alba, like, broke him, or at least partially destroyed some of his hangups there, but it doesn't change what he did, in my eyes, anyway. This is another route where um, Alba acts pretty differently than uh, he acts elsewhere. Probably the most differently, yeah, for sure. Which I know a couple people have said to me that, yeah, his personality kind of tends to shift a bit on any given route, which is interesting. Maybe that'll get explained later, I don't know. There was something that might be, um, like a lore detail later, because they said that Alba smelled like Mink, and I wasn't sure if that was because he smelled like him because they'd been fucking a lot. That was my first assumption. But on looking back on it, it seemed like they were setting something up. I don't know, like maybe it has to do with Alba's parents or something. Maybe that's why he has his powers. He's got something similar to Mink's odor, <laughs> which the odor thing is kind of funny. He smells like mind control. That's got to be a meme. That's got to be something on Tumblr about that. Your scent. Fucking your mind. <laughs> I liked that um, they highlighted how important Ren was to Alba, that he didn't see him just as an all-mate, just as a tool. And eventually, they kind of show that Tori, the Minx Bird all-mate, actually isn't just a tool to him either, although they act like it for a while. Yeah, probably my biggest problem with it is just the tone shift from everything that happens before uh, they assault uh, Toei's tower while they're just in Glitter in Platinum Jail, to everything that happens after they're in Toei's Tower, or it's Oval Tower. Everything that happens once they're in Oval Tower, like the characters really change, doesn't feel consistent. Or maybe I should say, like there wasn't that moment of growth or understanding, in my opinion. Like I get they wanted to set up Mink as like this really stoic, troubled guy, like, he's the bad boy. He's like, 
oh yeah he's he's such a he's so unkind and you know he doesn't listen to me but you know he really loves me deep down and that's like such it's such a like i get that it's a fantasy or whatever like that's what the story is but at the same time it like kind of kind of makes my skin crawl a bit but that's just me i know like some people probably really dig this fantasy and that's fine that's their thing no judgments but if i knew a guy actually like mink in real life i wouldn't want anything to do with them i wouldn't want to be anywhere near that i guess that's a, a good enough way to end it yeah i wouldn't want to be anywhere near him if he was a real person uh the other three noise kojaku and clear i think they're all pretty all right they're all good you know i like them all love them even i'd be just fine with all of them in real life noise is a, a brat but you know once you get past the sundary thing i he'd be pretty okay anyway folks thanks for listening to me ramble for a little bit catch you next time and uh We'll be finishing this Let's Play pretty soon, huh?